Did you know that ginger packs a ton of nutritional benefits and it's actually one of the healthiest spices you can eat? And if you've watched my videos on turmeric, chia seeds, and lemon water, you already know how big of an impact just adding in nutritional boosts into your daily lifestyle can make such a difference. So today I'm gonna to talk about why ginger is so good for us and why we need to be eating more of it. So let's get started. Believe it or not, ginger actually comes from the same plant as turmeric and cardamom. It actually dates back over 5,000 years where it used to be used in medicinal purposes and also for a spice. And ginger comes in a ton of forms. You can get it pickled, you can get it candied or crystallized, which my kids absolutely love. It also comes in a root form where you have it fresh and you can get it dried and ground. And it's a really versatile spice that you can use anywhere from having in an ACV elixir all the way to sauces and curries and marinades. So it is really valuable and you can use it in a ton of different recipes. So if you're like me, you probably are wondering if it's better to have fresh or ground ginger. Well, the answer is they both have their benefits. Fresh ginger has more what are called gingerols, and those are in a higher concentration in fresh versus dried. And gingerols are really what has the most studies about it. So we know that it has medicinal purposes, like it relieves nausea, it helps with arthritis and pain. And gingerols can also be dehydrated, and that's what that has that real pungent flavor, and that's what you get when you get dried ground ginger. So ginger, if you have too much of it, like in your herbal teas, there might be some side effects, like you might have some heartburn, a little stomach upset, and some indigestion, but that is if you have an exorbitant amount of ginger. Otherwise, if you're having it just normally in your daily routine and you're not over drinking ginger tea or something, you're probably not gonna have any side effects unless you're allergic to it. All right, so let's dive into the amazing health benefits that ginger provides. Ginger improves brain function. So the compounds in ginger actually help to fight against neurodegenerative disorders. In fact, people who suffer from Alzheimer's have been shown to have reduced brain inflammation with the intake of ginger. Ginger can help fight infection. So those gingerols that are found in ginger actually have antibacterial properties. Ginger can help lower your cholesterol. Studies have shown that ginger plays a role in enzymes that help to actually lower your cholesterol. And this enzyme has actually been shown to potentially change how our body uses up cholesterol so that we have less of the bad cholesterol in our body. Ginger can help fight nausea. And in fact, this is actually something that is really valuable for pregnant women is that there have been a lot of studies that show how just having some ginger, which is a completely natural and safe substance while you're pregnant, can help fight off pregnancy nausea. But if you are pregnant, definitely speak with your OB before taking any new supplements because you want to make sure that it's going to be right for you. Ginger can help reduce the symptoms of osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis, along with other rheumatoid diseases, have a lot of inflammation involved with them and ginger has actually been shown to reduce those symptoms. And those symptom reductions were especially noted in arthritis in the knee. Ginger can help with muscle soreness. So there was a study of athletic participants who took just three grams of ginger over a six week trial and muscle soreness was reduced for those individuals versus the control. And again, that really has to do with those anti-inflammatory properties of ginger that we've talked about too. So continuing with that topic, another great benefit of ginger is that it has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Those gingerols that are the compound in ginger are just really valuable to our overall health and they have a lot of anti-inflammatory value. Ginger may help fight off heart disease. So ginger taken in five gram supplements during a study showed a lot of positive progress for helping people fight against cardiovascular disease. And the thought behind this study was that the ginger actually helped with anti-clotting properties of blood, which can also have a very positive effect on improving your risk of heart disease. Ginger soothes your indigestion. Anyone who's ever had an upset tummy and decided to have some ginger ale already knows this, but ginger has really been shown to help relieve any symptoms of indigestion. And that's because the ginger basically helps your stomach Stomach, process the food better, it helps your body get through digestion better. Ginger may help with menstrual pain. There have been some studies that have shown very positive results for ginger in the relief of period pain, which is awesome. And in these studies, it actually showed that ginger worked just as well as pain relief medication. Ginger may have anti-cancer properties as well. So there are actually some studies that show that ginger can help reduce the potential for gastrointestinal cancers. And not only that, studies have actually shown that ginger can help Help reduce the growth of cancer and that would be for different types of cancers including brain cancer ovarian cancer breast cancer and several others all right so now that I got you on the ginger train go ahead and check out my video on my three favorite anti-inflammatory drinks all of which include ginger so you definitely want to check that out and I will see you in the next video